welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another NECA Toys cartoon TMNT video. And today, we have a brand new four-pack featuring the Turtle Bros, but they're all sporting a little bit of a different getup. So between Donatello, Michelangelo, Leonardo, and Raphael, we finally have their punk disguises from the 80s cartoon show, of which you can see nice photos all over the sides of the box and on the back side of the box, you get the usual. You get a nice bio talking about everything at Cartoon TMNT, along with a couple photos of some upcoming figures that are hitting store shelves now. And then, of course, the usual gorgeous photography. And to save you some time, while these aren't the most interesting Cartoon TMNT releases, there is some fun to definitely be had here. And on the bottom of the box, everyone who had their hand in bringing these action figures to life, so thank you always for that. Here's the barcode. These are starting to hit Target store shelves now as part of their spring holothon. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Target exclusive, the Cartoon TMNT 4-pack featuring the Punk Disguise Turtles by NECA Toys. So now, here's everything taken out of the packaging. And I will say that there is some fun here, to be sure. This is going to be one of those sets that I really recommend if you are a completist of the line and newcomers might not be a whole lot for you. Now, you do get a ton of extra hands, which is to be divided between each of the four Turtle Bros. Not only do you get these hands, but you get item holding hands as well, like this big old grocery bag full of vegetables, canned goods, assorted merch that they grabbed from their local convenience mart. Because now that they have these very, very convincing disguises, they can go shopping and do everything. But I digress, everything is really well painted along with the other grocery bag that really has more canned goods, bottled goods. Some of them have some labels here and there. And likewise, this is painted beautifully. These two shopping bags are some of the standouts from this entire set. Now, you do get Michelangelo's skateboard you could say it's any Ninja Turtles skateboard if you really wanted to go that route. I just associate it more with Michelangelo. I like all the cracks in the skateboard. All the wheels rotate. All the trucks. Everything is painted nicely. It looks cool. Now, I really do like this particular little robot action figure. If I'm not mistaken, I want to say it's Leonardo's, but it might be Donatello's. Could be wrong completely. But you can help me out down in the comments below. It's really well painted, and it's perfect for your sewer layers and forthcoming Donatello labs. Now, this right here, if I'm not mistaken, is a toy gun from one of the episodes. It's in my mind's eye. I cannot place it. You can help me out again down in the comments below. But it has really nice paint all over. Nice sculpt. I like the star on either end. So, yes, it's a nice accessory. And you do get a pizza. Shocking, I know. And it's relatively a uh, normal looking pizza. You got a little pepperoni. At first I thought they were anchovies, but you zoom in and they're definitely mushrooms. Maybe you got some black olives. It looks like a normal non-gross pizza. You also do get this old school boom box, which I absolutely love. All the buttons, all the doodads, the cassette tapes, you get to see the speakers. It's well painted. Again, the perfect accessory if you have the layer or forthcoming Donatello's lab. And what's funny to me is that this is not the first old school boombox I have gotten this week. But in totality, with all the various accessories, with these new style turtles, you can definitely use them all. You can definitely use them with other characters if you so choose. But they all really harken back to the classic 80s cartoon show. And speaking of which, from the episode Shredder's New Sword, and this is actually a, a nice throw-in, I will say. The turtles get these very punked out looks. Now, in this particular set, you get the actual head portraits, which you can clearly see Leonardo sporting a red mohawk, has a little bit more of a angrier attitude and what's nice is that these are actually the type of head portraits that pop and swap so you can mix and match all the various expressions so i definitely appreciate that and i like this head portrait along with donatello's 
Donatello has this really cool looking mohawk. It's orange, lime green. But the facial expressions really do harken back to the original Playmates Ninja Turtles. But that being said, I think that Michelangelo's, while it's interesting, yes, it's from the episode. They totally nailed it. It's just not my favorite. He looks like he's celebrating 420 on a daily basis. But Raphael, along with Leo's and Donnie's, I like the pink mohawk. I just like this different style look because I would say inadvertently, they really do harken back to the old Playmates Ninja Turtles. But you have to think, these are just the head portraits, not the original outfits. So it's a fun nod, it's a fun toss in, but their entire wardrobe ensemble isn't represented very well overall. However, swapping out the heads, it's fun. It is actually a lot of fun. They don't actually come with weapons. You won't find any of these weapons in the box, which I would think if you are a new coming collector and you want Ninja Turtles, this might be a pass for you in that sense. I see this very much being, if you've been in the cartoon TMNT line, if you are one of those completionists, it'll be right up your alley. But if you have the weapons and you have these head portraits, they are pretty darn cool, which leaves us with the sunglass look of the punk turtles. Now, these looks specifically come from the episode entitled Usagi Yojimbo, which yes, Usagi Yojimbo definitely shows up. But with these turtles, they simply just have the sunglasses on. They're blue, purple, orange, red. You get the idea. Leonardo's sporting a black leather coat, which looks great. It's all painted. He's got the cuffs. Now, as you get down to the legs, they're all going to be the same between all the turtles. But each of the looks is very much an old nod, an old love letter to things from the 80s. Like you could say this is a Terminator coat if you wanted to go that route. Plenty of articulation, but the unfortunate thing for me is that the glasses do not come off. They are glued in there. And I thought that that would have been very cool to not only leave the glasses off in some sense, but swap the glasses between each of the head portraits because they are not the head portraits that simply swap. These are just sculpts in and of themselves. So you're not going to be able to pop the tops off and then inner swap to get different expressions. That would be the main bummer. But swapping the heads is fairly simple, although I will say go very easy when holding onto the glasses, as I learned with Donatello. And that's also how I learned that, yeah, potentially if you did it right and you did it slow, the glasses may be able to be removed, but they are very much glued in there. Again, Donatello sporting more of a bomber jacket look. He has double jointed knees, but as I always say, go very easy with Nekatoy's cartoon TMNT. You might want to heat them up. Really didn't have any problems except for in around the shoes and the knees on some of them. But like I said, you can clearly see that the glasses can potentially come off, but they are glued in. But this happened when I was swapping the head portraits. But it's nice to know that under these glasses, they do have painted pupils. So it's not just a totally whited out eye. They do have paint underneath there. And again, leaves me scratching my head as to why we weren't able to just simply swap out the glasses, which then leaves me to believe that we will see these unbandanded turtles somewhere else down the line with Michelangelo, whom I think gets the overall best look. He's got the big cool grin going on, the orange glasses. He also is sporting kind of a Terminator jacket, kind of a Ghost Rider jacket. It's just cool. I think that overall he is sporting the best look and he has more of a facial expression than any of the other turtles, which definitely I appreciate as it really does make him stand out from the others. The colors are great. Everything is really well painted. I would say, again, go very easy across the board with the shoes and how they move up and down. Some of them were extremely stuck. A little bit of a dip in a hot water bath really did cure what ails me. But again, just as a heads up, while the paint is great, go very easy on the articulation at first, which then leaves us with Raphael, who's sporting more of a brown coat, little bit of some rhinestone action, I guess you could kind of say. He's got all the cartoon black marks all over him, which really gives him just a little bit of an extra oomph 
to the jacket and all the jackets across the board. Again, from the legs down, they're all going to be the same. You got a little bit of waist going on. And for those of you wondering why in this set is Raphael's coat brown? Shouldn't it be white like it was in Enter the Shredder? Well, yes, this would be the first iteration of their punk disguises, which pretty much Donnie, same, Mikey, Kind of sort of the same, but also kind of crossing over with Leonardo a little bit. But Raphael's jacket was definitely white in that go around. However, who knows what Leonardo was wearing? He was always behind Donatello and Michelangelo. So he's wearing something definitely weird. And as I said before, if you have some of the prior release cartoon TMNT weapons, these punk turtles will look great having all their respective weapons, which, again, I know it's not exactly cartoon accurate from what you see in the show, but I think these turtles could have definitely used their weapons. So that'll wrap it up for my look at the brand new Target exclusive from the Negatoys cartoon TMNT line, the Punk Disguise Turtles. To be 100% honest with you, I absolutely love the Negatoys cartoon TMNT line. This is definitely one of those lines, I guess you would say, after having got now the Pizza Club Turtles that are hitting at the exact same time, they don't really do a whole heck of a lot. There is some fun here, especially with the sculpts. It really is the sculpted heads, inner swapping them with parts and pieces that you have from your collection. That's where I got the most fun. Otherwise, it's just kind of, yeah, they have their punk disguises. It's cool, right? And yes, it is. Yes, it kind of has some of that Playmates nostalgia going on as well as a different look, different hairstyle, something wackadoo for the Ninja Turtles. So it's fun in that sense. But largely at the end of the day for me, they're just okay. And for the entirety of the cartoon TMNT line, as probably one of the first times I'm saying this, I just don't want to see a trend going forward. So you've heard my thoughts and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk every everything cartoon TMNT and I'm going to leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember there's a lot of turtles out there but we still need some main characters Tempestra Ray and a whole bunch of those mafia weirdos with the weird names so when they do let me know what you found so I'll talk to you guys soon adios